everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related and we have yet another decluttering video. As you can tell by the title, today I am tackling my lip products. This is something that I've been putting off for a very, very long time and you're about to see why. It's a lot. <laughs> Uh, doing this was definitely a wake-up call for me in the fact that I never need another lipstick, lip gloss, anything lip-related for the rest of my life. I just don't need it. It's ridiculous. A few things before we get into the video. One, thank you guys so much for watching my declutters. I, ha I didn't expect them to get the response that they had. I'm glad I found people like me that <laughs> like to watch people go through their stuff. And I don't know, to me, I find it like relaxing and I find it motivating. It makes me wanna clean out my stuff. So it's been really cool to see like you guys in the comments saying like my video inspired you to clean out your makeup or clean out whatever it is. So we are going into 2022 with a clean mindset. We are decluttering and we are starting the year off on the right foot. Second thing I wanna mention is I noticed when I was editing my footage, I, I kept notice I was, I was talking about a lip product that was clearly expired. I, in one clip I say like, oh my God, this smells horrendous. And then I say, I'm gonna pass it along. I think just the phrase I'm gonna pass it along is like ingrained in my head now since I've been doing this for three videos in a row. Please know I'm not passing along any expired lipsticks. Anything that I said was expired or like smelled sus got tossed. All right, with that being said, go ahead and grab a snack, grab a drink, get comfortable, and let's go ahead and jump right in to my lipstick declutter. Get ready, guys. <laughs> Does anyone else see why I didn't want to do this? <laughs> um, this stresses me out to no end. I cannot believe I have let it get to this point. Nobody, and I truly mean nobody, <laughs> needs this many lip products. This is insane. And looking at this, I'm like, what was I thinking? Granted, this is over like probably three years, three or f like three years of purchasing, which is still way too much. And this is definitely, uh, this is definitely a wake up call for me. Uh, this like honestly makes me embarrassed, but you know what? We can't dwell on the past. We can only move forward. So moving forward, anytime I want to buy a new lip product, uh, I'm going to just remember this. So I'm gonna start with what is probably gonna be the easiest to eliminate uh, because they're expired. This is all my lipstick from uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I don't purchase from Jeffree Star Cosmetics anymore. It's just not a brand. It's not a person that I wanna support, but I'm also just like not gonna just toss makeup because I just don't support the brand owner anymore. I feel like that's wasteful. With that being said, I've had some of these for probably two, three years. And with liquid lipsticks, you can't do that. You can't you can't keep them around because they do expire. So I'm just gonna kind of go through and uh, smell them because you will know right away when you smell a liquid lipstick if it's expired or not. So most of these, <laughs> most of these are expired. The ones that aren't, I'm still not gonna hang on to. I'm gonna pass them along. All right, next, easy to eliminate. These are all my Kylie Cosmetic liquid lipsticks. I'm not gonna go through them all because I have a ton. Some of these are a bit newer and I'm gonna remove those and obviously keep those. But I'm gonna go through and again, just kind of see which ones are expired and which ones aren't. All right, so this is everything 
Thank you, Charlie. This is everything that I'm going to be keeping for my Kylie collection. I know there's a few more of these, the Freddie collection that's mixed in with all these lipsticks. Um, oh, here's one. So I'm keeping all of the Freddie collection ones. Basically, I'm keeping all the newer ones that I have, a lot of reds and nude colors. And I think considering what I did have, I think this is a really huge dent in the Kylie lip collection. Charlie. Okay, I've had these for definitely over two years. This is the Just a Tint lip crayons from ColourPop. I'm going to go ahead and pass along those. Here's some liners that were shoved in a drawer. I keep all the lip liners that I use on my desk in like a little jar. These are some that I have that I don't use. So I'm gonna pass those along. Here's a little one from e.l.f. I'm gonna pass along. All right, I have some of these like lipsticks and lip glosses from the Sassy by Savannah brand. If you don't know who, it's, it's like a reality show's brand. I decided to try it last year and it's not good. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Here's a glittery gloss from Too Faced I'm gonna get rid of, it's super old. This is a little lip pencil from, or lip crown from House Labs. I'm gonna pass that along. I have so many Kylie, <laughs> oh my God. I went through this phase like two and a half years ago where I was obsessed with the Kylie lip kits and I used them all the time. I was obsessed and now I just can't really, I can't really deal with liquid lipsticks anymore. I just, I much prefer a bullet lipstick or a gloss. So here's some Kylie bullet lipsticks that I have. These are at least two years old, so they need to go. You hear any weird sounds? Charlie has been sitting right there chewing on his bone and I just didn't realize that the camera probably picks that up. So I just moved his bone over that way. So hopefully you don't hear that anymore. These little lipsticks from Tarte. I really like them. They just don't get the use that they should. So I am going to pass those along. I believe there's one more of these. All right, passing those along. Something that I've noticed about myself is I definitely had like a gotta catch them all mentality um, with products. And that's really, really bad because you can see how much is just getting either thrown out because it's old and expired or just being passed along because I'm not using it. It's so wasteful and this is really truly a wake up call for me. That mentality to like kind of have everything in a collection and have all the colors, it's it's not good and it's pretty toxic. So um, yeah, definitely going into the new year. This is, this, is something, this is something I'm really glad I'm doing because going into, you know, 2022, um, definitely gonna have a different mentality. Here's some more, just a tint lippy sticks. Found another Kylie gloss and another Jeffree Star liquid lipstick They're going. There's a e.l.f. lip gloss from the Retro Paradise collection. I'm gonna pass that along. More Kylie, another Sassy by Savannah lip products. Here's two little uh, glosses from Fenty. These were, what were these even called? I think they were called lip glazes. I had the shade cookies and cocoa and glazed donut. This one I actually like I used so much. There's definitely a huge dent in it, but I have newer products in my collection that I like more than this. So these are going to go. Okay. These are my makeup by Mario lipsticks. And these were a recent purchase and I am obsessed with these lipstick. I'm obsessed with the formula. I think it's one of the best that came out this year. Um, I have quite a few of these. Again, I have that gotta catch them all mentality. I don't have every shade, <laughs> but I do have quite a few. That's not that. I think I have a few more, um, but I'm keeping all of my Makeup by Mario lipsticks. These look super similar to the Makeup by Mario. These are the Milk lipsticks. Not a huge fan of these, so I am going to declutter those. Same with the Milk. I think this was the what were these? The Kush lip balms? Yeah, Kush lip balms. Kush lip balms. I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Another Sassy by Savannah. Why do I have so many of those? <laughs> I must have bought like a bundle deal so I could save some money, which <laughs> look how that 
turned out. Another milk product. Another milk Kush stick or Kush lip balm. Another Makeup by Mario, keeping that. I have some ColourPop glosses that I'm going to pass along. I just don't use them. Another Kylie. Another formula that I tried this year that I really like are the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. They're a like close tie for my favorite lip product this year with the Makeup by Mario. And again, I have quite a few shades of these, so I'm going to keep all of those. Really, really enjoyed them. More ColourPop. These are the uh, Disney collection lipsticks that came out. So these I don't use. These are old. But these are the um, Disney lipsticks that ColourPop came out with. And I'm keeping... Here's another one. <laughs> I'm keeping these because... I don't know. I think they're so pretty. They have all the Disney princess signatures on the packaging. In reality, I only need to keep one if I'm just keeping it because I like the packaging, but I, I want to hold on to all of them. Here's another one. <laughs> I love Disney and the, the packaging I really love, so I'm going to hang on to these. These are my ColourPop lip duos that I got with the Barbie collection. I've been keeping them in the packaging because with how many lipsticks that I have, like it's a no wonder I couldn't find anything. So I'm keeping these in the box so I wouldn't misplace the liner that goes with them. Uh, so I'm keeping these. I'm keeping all my Patrick Ta lipsticks. These are super, super nice. More Urban Decay Vice lipsticks, keeping those. Keeping all my Pat McGrath lipsticks. I bought these all probably within like the last year and a half. I've picked all of these up during like the uh, lip sales that she does. So I've gotten all these lipsticks for like, what? Like 13, 14 bucks. I feel like there's more, like this one. I'm sorry, I'm not going through and showing every single shade, but if I did that, we would be here for days. That's all, I think that's all my pad that I have. Here's another Urban Decay Vice lipstick. Um, moving on from Pat McGrath, I'll go ahead and get all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks out of the way. I'm keeping all of those. Quite a few of these. Oh, here's another Disney lipstick. Here's all my Charlotte Tilbury that I'm keeping, which is all the ones that I own. Just kidding, here's another one. You know what I just realized? I have another drawer of liquid lipsticks, but <laughs> it's all from the same brand. Uh, oh my God. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Oh my God. Okay, here are some little lipsticks from Estate Cosmetics. They sent me these, but I just, I don't use them. So I'm gonna pass them along. They're pretty much brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and part ways with all my little Morphe glosses, Morphe liquid lipsticks. I used to really like these about two or three years ago, which uh, means that I've had these for two or three years, which means <laughs> it is time for them to go. I just looked at my pass along, get rid of pile, and it is way, way bigger than what I'm keeping. So that's like really awesome. <laughs> so I'm really excited about that. All right, this is my Lady Bold lipstick from Too Faced. This is a beautiful red. I got this a few weeks ago, keeping that. If I ever buy a new lipstick again, please just like punch me in the face. <laughs> You know, it's funny, before I sat down to film this video, I was on the Sephora app and I put two uh, Huda Beauty lipsticks in my Sephora cart. I didn't buy them, but I put them in my cart to like purchase later. I'm a clown, I'm not doing, I'm not getting them. No, no, no. All right, these are my OG Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. These were the ones that caused all the fuss. Mine are fine, they looked a little sus. There was like the bubbling, but there was no like shards of glass or anything in them. And I actually like, I use these quite a bit. Oh my God, they smell. Yeah, these are so freaking old. But with that being said, I'm gonna hang on to these. One, because I they're, they're like an ancient artifact. You know what I mean? This was such a talked about item. Like this was caused such a fuss. And two, I like to rearrange my vanity every so often. And these make really beautiful like just 
decorative pieces to have on my vanity. So I am going to keep these uh, just for that purpose. I saw on, I think, Trend Mood or something that she's doing this again. Like she's gonna try again with the lipsticks and I think they're in the same packaging. So I definitely really, really like these. So if she does do that again, Oh my gosh, I just said if I buy any more lipsticks, you can punch me in the face. These don't count because this would just be a replacement. <laughs> Replacements don't count. Here's an Ofra lipstick that's still in the packaging. This was a free gift with purchase that I got and I just never opened it. So I'm going to pass this along. I'm keeping all my Rare Beauty lipsticks. I think these are about... I think these came out about a year ago. I really like this formula. If you're looking for like a truly like velvet, like cloud-like formula for lipstick, I highly recommend these. These are really, really nice. I think they killed it with this formula. The red shade is my favorite. It's that perfect. It's kind of got like a slightly orangey tint to it, but it's not straight up orange. Um, super nice keeping all of those. I will say this shade is a little sus. Uh, this is the shade Energize. It is like a Pepno Bismol pink, but I'm gonna hang on to it for now. But all the other shades, beautiful. Love them. I'm keeping all my Huda Beauty bullet lipsticks. I love these. I think these, I think I have all of the matte ones. Yeah, these are all the matte lipsticks. They are super nice. For a matte lipstick, I feel like they're pretty creamy, but I really like the formula. The packaging is so nice. Oh my gosh, how do I have so many of these Sassy by Savannah things? What, why do I have so many? <laughs> I have a bunch of Barbie sized Pat McGrath lipsticks. I think I bought these when I first um, like discovered Pat McGrath and I wanted to try out the formula. So I opted for like the, one of the little mini sets that you could get. And you, this is the shade Executive Realness. I know I'm not showing uh, swatches of literally anything else, but this is just like a little surprise. <laughs> this is the shade Soft Core. And then, oh, Elson too. I bought this, I have this in the bigger size. So I'm actually, I'm gonna pass this little one along, but I'm gonna keep the other two shades. Who is this? This is from M Cosmetics. This is the Lip Cushion tinted luminizer. I did not like this. It's like a wet sticky formula and I'm not a fan. So I'm going to pass this along. All right, here are all my Lunar Beauty liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. These are so, so good. Uh, keeping all of those, this shade dreamy, like you see how much product you get in these. I have like nothing left. I have never gone through an entire lip gloss before until I had the shade Dreamy. It is so good. These deserve all the hype that they get. Oh, here is another one. <laughs> yeah, keeping all of these, I love them. Here are two from Wet n Wild I'm gonna pass along. Here are three lipsticks that Pure came out with. They were the Pure Barbie collection. They say Pure Barbie on here, and then they have the Barbie logo on the cap. And not only that, I don't know if this is gonna pick up, but it's got Barbie on the actual lipstick itself. I bought these purely for packaging. They're really, really pretty colors, but for me, this is more of like a collector's item. I, I freaking love Barbie. I was such a Barbie girl growing up. So these I'm keeping. This is a little buxom lip gloss in the shade Sophia. This is uh, three years and a few months old, but this was the lip product that uh, I used on my wedding day. So I'm keeping that just for uh, memory's sake. If you truly want your lipstick to last literally through anything, the Melt and Matte lipsticks are what you need. Love them. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to do a smell test <laughs> for each one to make sure uh, we don't have any expired ones in the bunch because some of these I'm sure I've had for a while. Okay, so all of them except for the shade Freshly Baked are fine. I kind of figured this one would not be fine because <laughs> this came out with the Candy Johnson collection, which was literally years ago. So this is super old. So we have a gloss from 
Alamar Cosmetics. This is just super sticky and I'm not a huge fan of the formula. I really liked it when I got it, but just over time, like especially after getting the Lunar Beauty glosses, like that is my standard of lip gloss. <laughs> um, and this is just too sticky for my liking. Uh, we have another uh, ColourPop lip gloss I'm gonna pass along. I have two uh, liquid lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics that are probably two and a half years old at this point. So those, those I'm passing along as well. Oh, and then I randomly for some reason have a MAC lipstick. I have it in the shade Brave. I don't know why or how I have this because I don't purchase from MAC. I don't support MAC. They test on animals, which is absolutely disgusting. Um, so I must have... Someone must have given this to me. I don't know, but I am i don't want it, so <laughs> I'm getting rid of that. This I'm keeping. This is like my favorite lip product uh, of all time, forever and ever. <laughs> the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Bombs. I have three of these. I have one in my purse, one in my drawer, and then one is like floating around somewhere. Love these. If you haven't tried them, please do yourself a favor. It is so, so good. The Watermelon Kiss, which is this one, is my absolute favorite because it leaves like kind of a pink tint to your lips a little trio that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. These are the Lawless Beauty Forget the Filler lip glosses. I'm keeping those. Real quick though, I will say if you are like in between which ones to get, I recommend the Pillow Bomb lip gloss over the Lawless Forget the Filler. Just my little opinion there. So these were all gifted to me by Estate. They were so kind to send these over. I like this formula. I definitely have these colors in the um, Too Faced Melted Mattes that I just showed you. So I'm going to pass along all of them except for the shade Drip. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one because I really, really like the color. Okay, here are all my Ofra lip products. I somehow have two of the glosses in the shade Millie. So I'm gonna keep one and pass one along. I'm going to pass along the shades Revive and Reimagine. I'm gonna pass along the shade Cancun. I'm gonna pass along the gloss in the shade Queen. I'm going to keep the gloss in the shade Peony. And then, <laughs> these are basically all the same colors. That's so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the shades Refine, Story, Duchess, Oh My Rai Rai and Nude Potion. I'm gonna hang on to these. Okay, so here are my Juvia's Place lipsticks. They're super nice, but I just know between like my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and my Pat McGrath lipsticks, I just don't, I just don't reach for these. So I'm gonna pass them along. Here are my Propa Beauty lipsticks. I love this brand. They came out this past year with more pinky colors and I freaking love them. I'm gonna go through and just kind of pick out the shades that I know I'm actually going to get use out of. Okay, so out of all these, I'm going to keep the shades Her Magic. And Finesse. Here are all my Melt lipsticks. Uh, right away, I'm keeping this one. This is the shade Miss Argentina. This is part of the Beetlejuice collection. Really, really pretty red, keeping that. The shade Weirder and Weirder, it's like a purple black sparkly shade and I haven't used it, but I feel like if I get rid of it, I'm suddenly gonna have an idea in my head where I'm gonna need it, so I'm keeping that. Um, I'm actually just gonna keep all of these. Uh, <laughs> these are kind of more of like the wilder colors in my collection, so yeah, I'm gonna hang on to these for now. All right, these are all my Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna hang on to all of these. Fenty glosses. I have some of the like cream glosses and then I have 
some Fenty Heat glosses, which are my personal favorite. I have one more, but I keep it in my purse, the um, Cherry Heat. I am going to keep all of these except for this one. This is in the shade Fenty Glow. This was the first one that came out and it's the gloss that has the shimmer in it. And I just, I definitely prefer the cream and heat formula over this one. So I'm gonna pass this along. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. I have two lip oils from the brand Merit. They sent these to me and I really like them. So I'm gonna keep these. Here are my lipsticks from the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. These I'm keeping as a collector's item. These are my favorite lipsticks from Becca. I made one last order with them and purchased my favorite things before <laughs> they went away. So these I'm keeping. I just got a bunch of like neutral mauve pink shades, nothing new, but I really love these and I'm glad I was able to get them before they went away forever. Here is a little about face liquid lipstick in the shade Last Good Night, and I'm gonna hang on to this. These are two liquid lipsticks from M Cosmetics. I don't like these. <laughs> I feel like ever, and I said this in like the last two videos of my declutters talking about M Cosmetic products. I just, something, I can't vibe with them. Something is off about them for me. Everyone else loves them, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's, they're just not my favorite. So I'm gonna pass these two along. Here is a little Morphe lipstick in the shade Honey. I'm going to keep this. I have these two from uh, the brand Christian Audette, and I'm pretty darn sure I have more of these, but I don't know where they would be because I cleared out my drawer, but I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's more, but this is the shade Madame. And then I have the shade Beauty, which is the shade that they did with Mel Thompson. These I really liked, but they are pretty darn old. Definitely past the expiration date. These were the Urban Decay High Shine Glosses. I'm gonna keep these two Sigma lip products. These came with the Cinderella collection. One is a liquid lipstick and one is like a glitter topper. Super pretty shades. Bare Minerals lipstick in the shade Grace. Really pretty everyday shade, keeping that. Let's see, I have these two from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the shades Pure Hollywood and Crush. I'm gonna hang on to these. Two glosses from Urban Decay. These came out with the Vice Lipstick Collection. I really like these. I have the shades My Dude and Cruisin'. They're really, really pretty, keeping those. This is such a great liquid lipstick. This is from Flower Beauty, which is Drew Barrymore's brand, and it is in the shade Scarlet Letter, keeping that. All right, so here are some Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna keep these two. These are the liquid mattes. And then these two minis that I have, I believe I got these as a free gift with purchase. And these are like the Demi Matte uh, formula and it's a little too sticky for me. So these I'm passing along, these I'm keeping. A Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Stone, keeping that. Then we have all of these. These are the KVD Everlasting liquid lipsticks. So some of these I'm passing along, some of these I'm tossing because they're definitely expired. So these are the ones that are going. And then the shades that I'm keeping are Mother, Exorcism, Lolita, Bachelorette, and Bow and Arrow. And then I have a little Buxom lip gloss in the shade White Russian, and I'm gonna be hanging onto this. Remember how I said I forgot a drawer? It was all of my, um, Jaclyn Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I'm probably gonna keep most of these, if not all of these, but just to make sure I'm gonna go through them. Oh, this I'm gonna definitely pass along. This was the gloss that came in her mystery box. I just, I'm, I am I can't do a gold glittery, gold glittery gloss that she came out with. First of all, do you know how long it took me to film that clip? It is not easy saying gold glittery gloss. It took me like five tries. Anyway, this I'm gonna pass along. These I'm for sure keeping. These are the little lip lacquers that she came out with for holiday. Really nice formula. I really, really enjoyed these, so I'm keeping these. 
These are the lip cushions that came out this year. Very, very similar formula to the Rare Beauty liquid lipsticks that I love so much. So I'm keeping these. And then I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and just keep everything. So the only thing I got rid of for the Jaclyn liquid lipsticks was the gold gloss. So I kind of figured that was going to happen. This is everything that we are moving along. You guys, look at that pile. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that I've been hoarding that many lipsticks. What a lesson to be had for myself. This is what we call realization. Wow. All right, and then here is everything that we're keeping. Still uh, an F10, as they say, but I'm pretty darn sure that we got rid of more than we're keeping. So that's amazing. Thank you so much, Charlie, for helping were um, a huge part of getting this done. Thank you so, so much, sweet boy. And also thank you, uh, Minnie, for being a huge help on this too. You really put in the effort. For all the Daisy fans out there, she is currently taking a nice nap on the couch downstairs. <laughs> Great job, guys, we did it. This was like the most successful declutter yet. So, so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Okay, and that is it for my lipstick declutter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited because everything has its place in my vanity and in my little drawers over here. It's such a nice feeling to be able to sit down and know exactly where everything is and to be able to see everything and not have to rummage and just know that I have products in my collection that I actually love and that I actually will get use out of. Do I have too much? Some may say yes. Uh, keep in mind, this is just something that I love to do. This is my hobby. So, you know, it could be a lot worse. I could be into some other really bad. That is it for me today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. That is it. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.